Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, the old school picker. Only eight orders going out today. I'm actually okay with it. Stay tuned. I'll tell you why. All right, as I said in the intro, only eight orders going out today, but I am I am okay with it. Uh, I'll tell you why in just a little bit, but if you're new to the channel, thank you guys so much for joining me. I am Chris, the old school picker. I go around estate sales, yard sales, garage sales, flea markets, even auctions from time to time. Buy stuff to resale, bring it home, put it in this shop, list it on eBay, and wait for it to sell. And I just pull the orders, show you guys what's sold, record what I do. So that's what this channel is all about. If you're into that, I sure would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, yeah, a lot going on. Uh, not listing unfortunately sunday nothing monday nothing tuesday uh barely nothing 10 items for 149 dollars last week i ended up average uh listing 80 items so i'm i'm trying to get to that i've got four days left this week including today and i need to put up 70 more items at least so I'm trying to get my active listings up in the next four weeks or, well, during this five-week challenge here, up to 900 active listings. Currently, I have currently I have 846 items currently listed. So you say, well, that's only 54 to go. You'll make that no problem. Well, the problem is I'm selling about 60 percent of the stuff i list so so yeah so to get to 900 i really need to list about probably about 150 200 somewhere in that range so if i just keep listing 70 80 items a week i should get there my goal last month was to get to 850 active listings and i did it i started at around 800 got up to 850 so Plus with all the sales but i've already dropped back down to 846 so i'm going the wrong way here but i'm happy about that i'm happy with sales happy super happy with how the youtube channel is growing i appreciate it it's all because of you guys best supporters on youtube by far uh, i tell you i could t i tell you guys that all the time but i still don't tell you enough i just spent an hour this morning answering all my comments um i appreciate that i really do they will come a time when i get so many comments that i just cannot answer them all but i promise you i will always read them and that time's not now so i'm still answering all my comments or trying to to reply to all my comments sometimes it's very short and sweet but like i said i just spent an hour this morning replying to all those but i appreciate the comments i love love reading them you guys know me because you watch me three times a week, sometimes four times a week. But there's a lot I don't know about you guys. So on the giveaway video, I have more comments on that video than I've ever had, I believe, on a video. And a lot of people that said they've watched my channel for years but had never commented. So it's awesome, awesome, awesome to finally meet you guys. I appreciate that. You should comment more often. But anyways, we got eight sales going out this morning. I'm okay with that. Why? Because if I'm not out here shipping, that means I can be listing. I'm about six videos behind on editing video, so I need to get to editing video too. You guys are about to catch me. But that's okay. I've got plenty in the bank. I just got to get them edited. So, But with not many sales going out today, I should have time to get uh, some listings up and hopefully edit one or two videos. I'm hoping to put up around 20 listings today, so we'll see. Fingers crossed. My biggest holdup has always been, as far as listing on eBay, is pictures. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate doing pictures. Once I get the item photographed, man, I can list it just like that. And I've got better on my pictures over, over time. This setup over here has definitely, definitely helped. Um, but I still, I still hate doing it. I don't know why 
leave it in the comments what your the worst part of reselling is for you for me by far it's photographs i hate it i love going out and buying the stuff i don't even mind listing the stuff i don't mind shipping for the most part you know every now and then shipping gets a little old if you've got a bunch of big items that you know take a while but for the most part my items are usually easy to ship you know one Every time I ship, I'll have one or two that's a little bit, takes a little bit of time and work. But man, if if I, I don't ever plan on having an employee ever, I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be responsible for somebody else's paycheck. I really don't. That's too much pressure for me. I don't want that. But if I ever did, the first thing I would get them doing is photographing. Hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Leave it in the comments below what your least favorite part of reselling is. We talk about our favorite parts always. We don't talk about our least favorite part. Well, my least favorite is photos. Hate them. Anyways, eight items going out today. Happy about that. And for a total of 377.19. So pretty darn good average there. So there's a couple of good ones going out, a couple of cheap ones going out, and then some in between. So we'll get started. The first one going out is in F2. This will probably be a quicker video because I just don't have many items going out, but that's okay. I need to get to work on some other stuff anyway, so don't need to be spending a lot of time shipping today. The first one going out is Racer X Volume 1, and this is a graphic novel. Of course, every now and then I'll run up on some really good graphic novels, but a lot of times they're the cheaper ones, and if you're not familiar, it's basically just a comic book, but more in a book form. But pretty cool, and uh, this one is a cheap one. I didn't pay much for this guy. So for $5.99 plus shipping. Graphic novels can go medium mail too, by the way. Comic books, no. They have advertisements in it. But graphic novels usually don't have any advertisements in it, including this one. So this one will go media mail. My media mail has been doing better here lately. If you go back about, I don't know, six or eight videos ago, I was having crazy amount of trouble with media mail. So many of my packages were getting held up in Memphis and just basically getting lost for some of them was a week and a half old i think but they all made it i didn't get any kind of negative feedback or anything like that it all worked out and it has been much better since then so hopefully those problems are over for now at least all right it's kathy time g23 oh i didn't look at which one's going out i looked at the SKU number but I didn't look at what was going out. A little lace. All right, so Kathy, I appreciate it. They're still selling, girl. She worries that they're not going to sell, and I'm like, no, nah, they're selling good. <laughs> they are selling good. I appreciate it so much. G23. Uh-oh. Wait, that's not G23. Yeah. Let's see here. A little lace, yeah. Oh, this uh, two-pack clean stamp set, rubber stamp set, and the cut and emboss dies, uh, stitched lace dies, and a little lace clean stamp set. I've read two or three comments as I was answering all those comments a minute ago that people had been finding some stamping up stuff. Make sure you can sell them because according to Kathy, you can only sell the retired ones. So make sure. Um, she knows way more about it them than i do i promise you so make sure you can sell them don't get yourself in trouble with ebay overselling these things but anyways this set here so for 39.99 plus shipping thank you kathy all right had some golf balls going out and these actually came from this place that i bought all the action figures from if you go back and watch that video i bought some before i even seen the uh, the G.I. Joe, all that action figure He-Man stuff. He had some other stuff just sitting on the table, just regular yard sale stuff. 
golf balls, Mojo Nike golf balls. I'm not making a ton on these guys. I think I paid two or three bucks for them. And they sold for $7.99 plus shipping. I've had mixed results with golf balls. I've bought some for two or three dollars and sold them for 30. I've bought some like this, usually sell them, you know, buy them for a dollar or two, sell them for eight bucks plus shipping. Still not bad. All right, next item I have going out. I bought this uh, back last summer, I believe, at a yard sale. It was right after we got moved in. We stopped at a yard sale on the side of the road. I seen it, and it's the only thing I bought. And I thought, man, that's going to sell quick. Well, a year later, it's finally sold. It was one of those items too cool to pass up, though. I knew it probably wouldn't be worth a lot, but I did think it would sell quick. But it turns out, when I listed this, eBay is full of these guys. I guess it was given away at theme parks or sold at theme parks or whatever. And they probably made a bazillion of them. And uh, it's Mickey Mouse little thermos. It's in really good shape. The strap's in good shape. I mean, he is, I don't know. He's in pretty good shape. Cool. I paid a dollar for him. I was not going to leave anything vintage Mickey Mouse behind for a dollar. So for $9.99 plus shipping. Stick around though. We got some good ones coming up. I'm kind of pulling the cheaper ones first, but we got some good ones coming up. And this one right here is a pretty good one definitely glad to get rid of it for sure but it is a barbie yay i had uh as i was answering all the comments i got like three videos behind on answering comments so i got caught up but as i was answering them i think i had two or three people write that they found my channel on the barbie video so that's pretty cool so appreciate you guys sticking around for sure yeah and the next one going out is a very very nice one and a very very big one dread shipping this one already but it is it's not even a barbie really it's just a doll but it's Marilyn monroe collector series spotlight splendor Marilyn, uh, american beauty classic apparently they made a whole line of these made six of them and i guess this is number four anyways this one sold for 29 99 plus shipping i paid seven dollars a piece for them so i'm glad to get this sale i will have to find a box for that one for sure i think i've got some that size in the garage we'll see next sale is a really good one thank you again mr ivan i appreciate you brother but i sold another golf club set that he get that he sent me and this one's a pretty good one it's Taylor made super steel burner golf club set iron set it's uh how many clubs are in it three seven seven club set i took a best offer on this one for 114.99 plus shipping good deal thank you ivan and these will go out ups all right it has if you've been following my channel for some time you remember these guys but it's been a while since i sold any of them but I still have some good ones left. Um, but I think most of them that I have left are just way overpriced. And I need to reduce my prices on them. But I bought a huge lot. Well, let me pull the other one first. And I'll show them. Because the same buyer bought two of them. You see how many I have left in that box. I had a ton of these guys at one time. And I just condensed them all in down to one or two boxes. But I got one more. Let me pull it. Back last summer when I was living with my in-laws because we sold our house and was waiting to find another house, my eBay sales suffered big time because I wasn't buying much stuff and I was listing even less. But I made two purchases that really, really, really saved my tail. And one of them was all the gun, gun sc uh, scopes and sights and the chokes, all the gun parts. That was a huge deal. 
And then I also made a nut, which I paid up for the gun stuff. Spent quite a bit of money that day. It was over a thousand dollars. But anyways, this sale right here saved my tail too. And I didn't pay very much for them. I only paid $45 for the whole box. And I think there was 80 something magazines in that box. I had no idea they was as good as they, as they was. So the very first book or magazine for 80 something dollars. So I doubled my money with one and I had 80 something of them. Well, I finally sold two more. I've got a few of these left. I was looking and I was like, got more of these left than I thought. So I need to reduce my prices because I think the ones I have left are just way overpriced. I took a best offer on one of them for way cheaper than what it was listed for. But anyways, they are these amazing stories and wonder stories magazines. Same buyer, bought two of them. They're not in the greatest condition by no means, but these things are old. The first one going out is Amazing Stories Quarterly Fall Edition from 1928. But look at that artwork. Those things are awesome. I mean, keep in mind, I have, what, 50 cents in these things, roughly. And this one is, oh, it's just so awesome. Awesome, awesome. They're full of stories science fiction type stories they do have a little bit of art in them as well but talk about cool 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 frame that hang that on the wall that would be awesome anyways i took a best offer on this one i had this one listed for a hundred bucks plus shipping i've had it forever no interest the buyer had already bought the other one so i took a best offer on this one for 30 bucks plus shipping still a great deal I could have possibly got more for it. I'm okay with that. Now, usually I won't take 30% of my asking price, but this these items, I'm sure it was overpriced or it would have sold a long time ago. And this one he bought for full price. This one is Wonder Stories, August of 1935. So it is quite a bit newer than the other one. And this one sold for $24.99 plus shipping. So $55 for two magazines. I paid $45 for all of them. Go back and watch some of my videos from last winter and into last summer. I made a killing on these things. I, I'm way over $1,000 in profit on this buy here. It saved my tail last year because... I, I, I bought the gun stuff, listed it. I bought these magazines and listed them. And that was about it. That's about all the work I did when I was living with my in-laws. So, good, good deal. I do, need, I do need to go back through the other ones that I still have listed and reduce them because obviously they're overpriced or they would have sold. That it, that's even the first interest I've had in those in a while. I have sold them like that. When I was first listing them. I mean they were selling every video. And they were good sales. So I'm sure I'm just overpriced on the ones I have left. Alright so 8 orders. I guess 9 items since the guy bought 2 magazines. Or is that 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No 8. So I will ship them together. So actually only 7 orders. 8 items. So. But some really good ones. Thank you again Kathy. Thank you again Ivan. Glad to get another Barbie gun or a dog on and awesome, awesome, awesome to still be selling these guys. Awesome. That's going to be it for this video. I've got to get to work. Uh, it's already like 11 o'clock. So <laughs> yeah, spent way too long on YouTube this morning. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. You are the best viewers on YouTube by far. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you leave a comment. What's the worst part of reselling to you finds photos let me know what yours is thank you guys old school picker out